The Bible speaks clearly about the reality of spiritual warfare. Now you can bury your head in the sand and pretend like this doesn't exist, but my friends, let me tell you that the Word of God would not mention spiritual warfare if it weren't a reality. But rather than focusing on the enemy we face, I want us to focus on the weapons that we've been given. Ephesians 6 verse 10 to 18 says, Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand firm. Stand therefore having fastened on the belt of truth, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and, as shoes for your feet, having put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace. In all circumstances, take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying at all times in the Spirit, with all prayer and supplication. To that end, keep alert with all perseverance, making supplication for all the saints. I want you to notice something. The belt of truth the breastplate of righteousness, feet fitted with the gospel of peace, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation. These are all defensive elements for our armor. These are all meant to help us block the attacks of the enemy. They are designed to secure us and ensure that no weapon from the enemy's camp can cause serious damage to us. The only offensive weapon that we do have is the sword of the Spirit, the Word of God, a Word that is living. This is what we are to defeat the enemy with. And so I want you to understand each of these individual elements that make up our armor. Now Jesus Christ said he is the way, the truth, and the life. And we need to gird ourselves with this truth. The devil is the father of lies, but with the belt of truth on, we will not fall victim to the enemy's deception. We are to wear the breastplate of righteousness because it protects us from all of the enemy's unclean devices, his sinful schemes. With this on, we pursue righteousness and turn away from sin. On our feet, we are to be fitted with the gospel of peace. And I believe that this means we need to be rooted in God's gospel of Christ. And then there's the shield of faith. This is what protects us from the arrows that the enemy throws. Arrows of discouragement, arrows of depression, low self-esteem. Now your head is somewhere that your enemy will attempt to attack frequently because if he can affect you in your mind, he can affect your life. And so the helmet of salvation is a must for all believers. And finally, we are told to take up the sword of the spirit. The sword of the spirit is God's word. God's word is living and we can use his word to defeat the enemy. We can speak God's word over our lives for protection and safety. And now, let us pray. Lord Jesus, I thank you for the plan you have over my life. May your will prevail. May your plan and will for my life be the one that I follow. Lord, I know that the enemy also has a plan. He has a plan to steal, kill, and to destroy. 
And Father, in the name of Jesus, I break every plan from the devil. I refuse for him to have any influence over me or my family. I speak the blood of Jesus Christ upon my future, my family, and my health. I speak the blood of Jesus Christ on the works of my hands, on my coming in and my going out. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ upon everyone and everything attached and associated to me. The devil will not come in my life to wreak havoc in Jesus' name. No devil shall prevail in my life. No evil force or principality shall gain a foothold over me. Holy Spirit, help me to put on the belt of truth always so that I can recognize truth from deception. I pray that I may always have on the breastplate of righteousness so that when the enemy tries to attack me with sin and impurity, I will be strong and remain focused on my pursuit of holiness. Help me and cover me, Holy Spirit, so that my heart may be made whole, so that my heart may be made pure. When the devil tries to attack my heart and mind, I pray that he will have no effect on me because I have put on the breastplate of righteousness. I pray that I may have a peaceful character, Lord, a peaceful personality, let this peace be rooted in knowing that my Savior, my Lord Jesus Christ, is the Prince of Peace. I pray, Father, that when the devil plots against me, when he tries to attack me, may the shield of faith defend me. I pray that my faith is and will be strong because it is anchored in your word, because it's anchored in Jesus Christ and not in any situation or circumstance on this earth. Lord Jesus, I know that the battle of my mind is one of the key places that spiritual warfare is fought. Help me to renew my mind. Help me to develop a mind that is focused on you at all times. Give me all that I need to stand strong in this life. Help me to meditate on your word which is living and sharper than any two-edged sword. Your word is truth and there is power in your word. May the Holy Spirit constantly urge and convict me to meditate and study your saving word, Lord. I pray that in this battle against the forces of evil, may I never be found without the armor you have given me. May I never be found naked and ill-equipped for this fight before me, but instead, give me a wise mind and a faithful heart that is always ready to fight the enemy. I thank you, Lord, for your might and strength. I thank you for giving me the resources I need to overcome the devil and live victoriously. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Thank you.